Hello, everybody, and welcome to Splits Creek Films. I am Ledge Cat, and we will be continuing our FTL Faster Than Light series today. Sorry that we weren't able to put one up yesterday. Uh, we had some issues on, you know, computer availability and all that nice stuff. But um, yeah, we're gonna get back into it, and this should be our last episode. Episode Yale. We got some. We got some things going on. Uh, Let's see. Manned by crew. Let me guess. She leveled up. Yes, she did. Um, Block is really close to leveling up to star two on those engines. Roper is close to leveling up to star two on piloting. Um, hopefully we can get, get those level ups nice, done real quick. Okay, so why aren't our shields at full? That's why. No power to them. Okay, so we're ready to jump into the last sector. Wow, we <laughs> we were so close to being taken by the Rebel Fleet. Um, let, let's go. Next sector. Okay, so, fuck. Well, this... This is not good. Um, fuck. I uh, think I made the wrong choice. Uh. Alright, so Slug Controlled Nebula or Slug Home Nebula? I think the Home Nebula would be better because that's where their home is based, not what they can... I don't know. I'm just going there. All right, let's see. Slugs that live in this nebula field are a leisure-centered civilization. Oh, good! Everything in slug life is done in the pursuit of more currency and more time in which to spend it on extravagant ventures. This is inevitably leads to much treachery in open space. God damn it! Okay, let's go here. I I don't want to be in a nebula. I don't like it when my sensors are down. It is rare for the slugs to stay exposed in open space for long periods. The ship here may be lost or just passing through, but either way, he moves into attack. Fuck! Okay. Artemis? Oh, damn it, they're cloaked. Okay, so, defense. Oh, fuck, I can't do a defense. Ah, your stupid ion bit. Thing missed. All your ion blasts are missing. So all it has are ion blasts and miss and beam. And it's pretty cool how they keep missing because, um... I kept putting so much into the evasion on that engine, so it kind of makes me happy that I did that. Oh, fuck. Okay, they're, they're like that again, but that did nothing. Time to kill them. Enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTLs, trying to escape. Fuck you. You have beasted us. Will you accept what's in our stores in exchange for our lives? Slugs usually do not have much to offer you, I have found. So, no, you're gonna fucking die. Gotta attack those engines next, just so they can't FTL away. Because I think I got a prompt for that. Okay, they're fucking dead. Let's see what we got. The ship explodes, leaving one... Uh, yeah. One fuel, two missiles, and 47 scrap. Nice! Okay, let's see. I can get the two power bars I need just so my defense can go up. Fuck yeah. Sweet. We've got rank twos all across the board. We got rank two on, well, not on shields, but eh, who needs that? We have four shields. So we've got rank two on piloting. So evasion is plus 10. Sweet. We've got rank two on engine. So evasion plus 10. That is amazing. And then let's go to Manon. 19% faster charges on weapons. Sweet. I didn't really notice that. So, that's awesome. I don't know what, you know, shields does. Um, so, Steli's on shields. So, hopefully when she gets up, we'll have better recharging. Okay, better shield recharging. I don't really have anything to get at the store, so I'm just going to jump away. A slug ship, a rogue you suspect, approaches, but when he sees your Federation, he thinks better of the sneak attack and fires everything he has. Fuck that. He's he's fucking dead. Slugs. Those beams look treacherous, but then again, all he has is a burst laser mark one and two beams. He's not breaking through these shields. No matter how good he thinks he is. I'm gonna conserve... I need to start conserving my missile ammo for the last sector. Those beams did nothing to my shields. I am... I am amazing. Screw the FTL, I need to kill these guys. 
You have bested us. Will you accept what's in our stores? No. You're dead. I'm sorry, slugs. But I cannot afford to let you guys live. It's just I need the money. No offense. We, we, we just need the money. All right, let's see. Uh, 52 scrap. Sweet. All right. Uh, can we get anything? No? Nothing? Nothing really? Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. I can see their power use, but that, I'm not really that strategic. Hmm. Hmm. I get up the oxygen, but that's not really needed. So, gonna jump. Let's jump down here. Let's jump up here just in case going down there wouldn't work. Plus, I want to see if there's more, if I can get a lot of money by going that way, I want to get it. That beam looks very, very mean. It looks like a very mean beam. I need to kill their weapons now. That beam looks terrible. Mm, it does not look like that beam is gone. I'm waste. I don't want to waste my Artemis. Doesn't matter. That beam still cannot break through four layers of shielding. I love that. I'm gonna let them live. They transfer a meager amount of material. There, now keep your word. Okay, so one drone part, three fuel, and 35. Not as much as we would have gotten if we had killed them, but I gotta let some people live. After all, I do need civilians to control as the Federation after I'm done winning. You're surprised to find a ship without a slug marking strange all the way out here, and then move. When you see a pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. There's Zoltans, so they can... They don't have a drone room. They could have missiles, so they could fuck me up. But then again, I need some stores. And if they do have a missile, which they don't... They're not going to be able to fuck me up. Oh look, Ion. You think I care? That's a burst laser mark three, though. It's nothing to be, you know, just scoffed at. One, two, three, four, five. You missed, buddy. I had to send that last missile there just so they can't do anything. Yes, I will accept that specifically because I do not want to be in this drawn-out battle, and I need those missiles. All right, so we've got a, quite a bit of scrap. There's another store over there, but I'll jump here first, and then I'll jump to the store. Just cuz. A slug ship hails you. We've detected some worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps you should take a look. As he signs off, your medical base shuts off, and their crew teleports. Oh, I see. God damn it. So my medical bay is shut off. I need to kill these people fast. They don't look like engineers. Yeah, no shit, they aren't engineers. No, you get out of there. You get out of there. They're attacking my weapons. I need to get this over with as fast as possible. Shit, they're gonna destroy the weapons, but my FTL is charged. Store. Powerful drone that continuously attacks the enemy ship moves and shoots faster than Mark 1. No, I don't need that. Hmm. I'm gonna fix myself up a bit. I'm not gonna sell anything. Oh, I need to I need to kill those people still, don't I? But my med bay is back up. Now, NGs really suck at fighting, so they're going to need to be constantly swapped out. They're like halved in fighting damage, I thought, I think. Come on, get in there, Steli. Alright, we won. Get back in there. Get in the med bay. Uh, only three people at once, huh? Manon, you were weapons, right? Get in there. Steli is shields. So I'll send her in there in a second. Steli, get in there. 
Vincent, you were oxygen room guy. Lock, you did engines. Go back to your shields. Power this shit up. Oh, I have no missiles. Yeah, that's right. I probably should have stayed and killed that one thing. But let's go down. I should have killed those Altons. Er, no. I'm not sure what it was. Um, the slug vessel you encounter here has obviously made a big score. Just looking to test its new ar armaments. They, they picked the wrong ship to attack. You're damn right they picked the wrong ship to attack. Oh, Defense 1 drone. Get online so you can shoot down their missile. God damn, I completely missed. But at least their missiles aren't gonna connect. Because I have this I have this defense drone. No. Okay, it missed. Alright, sweet. Gotta fuck up their shield some more. Hopefully they don't have an NG crewman there helping them. Because those shields need to go down quick. The battles get more long and drawn out the farther in the game you go. Those missiles are not getting through. Alright, keep burst lasering their shield room. Because the missiles aren't gonna get us and their their burst lasers are not powerful enough to kill my uh kill my shields. My shields are too powerful. Come on, defense drone. Yeah. I'm not letting you live. Last time I let someone live it was bad. Fifty one scrap. Add that to the pile. Alright, um, Hmm. Alright, I'll accept. But what I could do... I'm gonna do that, just so when I get a new drone, I can add power to that. Jumping here. Slugs, use a tactic you hope you never see today. Sabotage your oxygen production system and then charge fire weapons. Oh, huh? I'm gonna suffocate. God damn, I hate it when people do that. Those fire weapons are never gonna go in, though. We need to get out of here before my oxygen dies. Actually, no, we can kill them first. Because we can kill them before my oxygen goes down. I know we can. Shit, they went cloaked. Why are my weapons not charging? They should have charged, at least. Um, the oxygen is getting pretty low. I might need to jump away and not take anything away from this battle. That would be bad, though. Okay. No, I can do this. I can do this. Just one more shot. I can do this. No, their shield. Come on. I can survive. I can do this. Yes, I got them. I need to jump away now. I'll jump to the exit. Okay, so the oxygen should be coming back and no one's gonna die. Awesome. <clears throat> Alright, we're about to go into the last sector. When we do that, basically, we're gonna be healed a little bit, which we're not, which I don't think goes in. They're gonna refuel us and give us a couple of missiles, I think. And that's gonna help us for sure. We will be out of a nebula, hopefully. But yeah. We're gonna get ready to fight the good fight. The big boss flagship fight. And it's gonna be amazing. As soon as my oxygen gets over 75, we're gonna go. Look at my evade. It's almost 50%. It's pretty cool. Next sector. And yes, I am recording this on the 4th of July. And this is going up on the 4th of July. Because America. The Federation ships look so amazingly hilarious. I love them. You arrive at the heart of the last Federation fleet. Your access codes get you past the initial security and a direct feed to the capital ship's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first saying, what is the meaning of this? Who are you? Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Turzil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests a potential counter of rebel technology. Risk all or save none. 
Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet. The rebel flagship. The NGs are smart. They let me do things. Tell your response. It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off our warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. We will refuel your ship now, and our stations will offer help wherever possible. Good luck. Ten fuel. Gonna jump. Okay, so they're right here. This is terrible. Usually I die before I even get to attack the fucking flagship. So, we're going to the store. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Oh, f oh, oh wait. We have found our solution to the Artemis problem. Wait, required power three. Fudge. This could make or break me. But I'm selling the Artemis. I'm buying the Pegasus. What it does is it shoots two missiles with the for the price of one missile. I did what had to be done. I need to add one more power to my weapons though for it to work and for that I need 90 scrap. And I should not have done the whole drone thing, but I will. I'm going over here now. The Federation fleet is here. Two fleets fight nearby. You try to skirt around the edges of battle to keep out of weapons reach, but a rebel scout spots me and moves in. They've got an Artemis missile, which my defense drone will take down. They've got a burst laser Mark II, which won't break through my shields, but they've also got drone control. Oh, yes. They've got an anti-ship Mark II, and they've got that one. That really annoying one. Oh, shit. Defense drone. Damn it. It missed. You, NG. Get on there. God damn. Yes, I killed it. It doesn't seem I'm breaking through their shields at all. How high is their evade? Okay, I stopped their anti-ship drone. Their anti-ship drone is down, that's all I needed to do. Their anti-ship will be back up in a moment, though, which is not good. Come on, we need to keep hitting that. Okay, it's down again. Sweet. Just keep fire on those two stations and we should be good. It seems like they're out of missiles. That's good. They do have a small bomb, but it seems like they're out of missiles. So we are in the clear for now. The shield's room's on fire. Excellent. El Excellente. Firing. I will be firing upon their drones. That anti-ship was killing me. Sweet! We killed them. What did we get? 36 scrap. Darn. We need to jump away. What's safe? There nowhere is safe. I'll jump here, but I fear that this might be our our death. Okay, so they leave me alone. All right, over here. I'm exploring this asteroid field, and I got four missiles and 62 scrap. Amazing, this is just what we needed. You discover the remains of a ship embedded into an asteroid. It still has some functioning missiles. Yes. And we now have one hour freedom. Pegasus. Yes. We have won our freedom, gentlemen and ladies. I do this in reverse order because I am illiterate. I must go back down. I must get to the flagship.
I am attacking their shields and their missiles. I have to put a defense drone. You can shoot down lasers too. That's a cool defense drone you've got. Dang, that Defense 2 drone is pretty amazing. I'm gonna jump before I waste all my missiles, and I am attacking the Rebel flagship. This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you are able to destroy this giant monstrosity... Oh, it actually does say this monstrosity! Wow! I was just... <laughs> I was just saying something! But no, they actually... They agree with me! The Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. And they, they did that. I can't charge anything. Damn. I love how they send me a scout ship, basically. I'm basically a scout ship. They send me to destroy the rebel fleet. In this gigantic monstrosity. As if I could do something this big. I'm just a commoner who gave you intel. Yes! Taking down their shields. Damn, they cloaked. Maybe I can do this. Maybe. They have a triple missile, though. Alright, time to kill that shield room once and for all. They've got so many people on board. That's more than I'm allowed, Max. I know that. Yes, their shields are dead! We must attack their weapon systems now. Our hull is now at 75%. Somehow we will kill this monstrosity, and it will be glorious. Why are we out of system power? Oh no, they took down our weapons. Their ions. They all miss. Let's see. Their cloak is going down. Let's go. I need to kill their weapons now. They have one level of shielding back up. I'm gonna refocus on the shielding now. Now that I've killed one of their ion blasts. But we do need to focus on their missiles. He died. Sweet. That ion bl that That's actually not an ion blast. That's a laser. We won! We beat the rebel ship. We won! Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. In its new state, it will have to get close to the base to be a threat. You've brought, bought some time, but you've got to keep up the assault. What? It's not dead yet? No. It's jumping there. Gonna wait. Okay, so now it is there. And now we're gonna fight it. Well, first... Let's send in... Let's heal up. Let's heal everyone up, just so that no one dies on this mission. I have autopilot. I don't know why I can't FTL away right now. Okay, block. You go there. Oh, wait, nope. Here, Steli. And Manon, you two are good at fixing things. You go fix that up. Get out. Roper! It's good to have you as a pilot. Block, get back on the engines. You are all going to lead us into victory against the Rebel Fleet. Let's go, Manon. You get back on those weapons, girl. And you, Steli. I've never loved a machine more. Let's get this bastard! The Rebel flagship will meet its demise. It is heavily damaged from their previous fight. Scanty is redirected considerable power to its drones. Oh no, now it's a drone fight! We've got to attack the shields first. Oh no, assault drone! Assault drone has attacked the oxygen. We, I think we've lost. Everything is now lost. What the hell? Everything's... Yes, we've attacked their drone control. We need to get the shields now. Our drone control is on fire, and it's going down, but we need we don't need our drones if we can just take down their ship now. What why is our why are our weapons? 
Why are our weapons not functioning? We're out of missiles, no! I fear all is lost. The oxygen is gone! We need to jump in order to survive. This is one long episode. No, the flagship is still here. And now it's fully healed. We cannot jump away. This is the end of us. We won the first fight, but it is all over. It's all over. No. We're all dead. It's all over. It's all, it's all gone. It's all done for. We're dead. The Kestrel lies in ruins. One at last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Damn, I thought we won that. I thought we won. I thought it was over. No! We were so close. But then the drones... If our missiles hadn't failed, we would have won. We needed more missiles. Ah. Our first playthrough of FTL ends with us dying in a horrible explosion at the hands of the Rebel flagship on easy difficulty. I'll be going through, hopefully, with the Kestrel B next, or maybe the NG ship, I'm not sure. But my heart is torn, and I hope you all enjoyed this. If you liked seeing myself get destroyed, leave a like, you can comment on the video, or you can subscribe if you want to watch more FTL or other games that make me want to cry on the inside. Because this was just a heart-wrenching defeat. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Anyway, this is Blitzkrieg Films. I am... I am Ledgecat, and I am apparently dead, along with my entire crew. And the Federation now lies in ruins. Goodbye, everyone. Stay safe.